Welcome back to the program where this episode I'm taking a look at one from the Big Ugly Brewing Company. Uh, this is one that was sent to me from uh, family in uh, the Chesapeake, Virginia area. This one here is called Maybe Today Satan. It is uh, an Imperial IPA. They're calling it a hazy double IPA. Coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. So look at the artwork here before we get into this, this craziness here. So you got like the decaying skull with like the bandages wrapped around the, the top of the skull there. Uh, maybe today Satan. So I'm assuming it's a play on not today Satan. Like with something bad, hap well, something seemingly bad happened and it's avoided. You're like, not today Satan. Uh, but maybe today Satan is a play on that somehow. Um, but anyhow, very, uh, very unusual, um, you know theme to this I guess at least to me it's not something I would go out of my way to grab if I seen it on the shelf there uh, but we will see um, you know what it's all about all right so I do like the all black can and it's pretty cool artwork there uh, all black there so for at the bottom uh, anyhow I'm gonna pour this and uh, see what it's all about so uh, hit that notification bell so you can stay current on the content if you haven't already and uh, please become a subscriber if you're not uh, already. I can always use the subs. And let's see here. Just a fairly nice uh, hazy appearance to it. That's actually a very nice, uh, about two, not quite three fingers of head on that. That's a, a frothy looking, looking head. Uh, color wise, probably um, a medium gold color to it. Let's see right there. That is a, a nice, got a nice haziness to it. You know, in this particular IPA glass, hazy there, it gets really dark as it as the glass flares out up there. And it's still a good two fingers of, of head there. Nice retention on this thing. Great lacing taking place. Ooh, that's nice. Lots of citrusy. I get a little bit of orange in there. There's some tangerine. There's some grapefruit. Maybe like a sweet ruby red. Possibly a blood orange. Maybe a little bit of papaya and mango as well. Bit of some, a bit of a tropical aroma in there. It actually smells pretty pleasant. So let's get a drink on this. Mmm. That's full body mouth though. Moderate carbonation. Still nice lacing taking place there. Eight percent. I don't really pick up the alcohol in there, um, but on the back of the tongue, there's a bit of a bitter. Um, you know, like a bitter hoppiness on the back end. You get like a, like a pill, like a, like a, I don't know, grapefruit, orange, mango, just a pill, like a, a fruit pill um, in the back of the throat. It does linger around a little bit. I can still kind of taste it there. But yeah, this is right around uh, full body mouth bill. Nice coating, creamy, a velvety mouth bill. Hmm. You know what? This is really, uh, really starting to hit the spot. At 8% there, uh, that's a, a good range, you know. I like them, you know, six, six and a half to eight ish, somewhere in there is a good range for me that I can just enjoy. Wanted to get the rest of that in there, see if there's any more goodies in the bottom of that can. Yeah, this is a sipper. This is one I could sip away at. Um, it's been out of the refrigerator for a bit. It's got a nice warmness to it now, so uh, those flavors I was hoping would really open up, and uh, they uh, apparently are. Anyhow, scoring this, you know, I'm going to give it a solid four out of five. Uh, it's definitely very good, very drinkable. Um, it's something I could definitely drink again. Uh, anyhow, four out of five, pretty good for this 
maybe today, Satan, you see like the little, what is it, Leviathan or Brimstone cross there. Um, 8% alcohol by volume by Big Ugly Brewing out of Chesapeake, Virginia. I think four out of five is fair. Thanks for watching.